on the plant cloth, get all the dust off. And the plant cloth reduces static. The bottom, it's already painted with rust paint. Oh, beautiful. Pour 15 rust paint. So then I put a couple little sticks here because I don't want the paint to stick to the cardboard. It's always good to have a small paint roller with you when you're spraying. If you get a little bit of a run, at least you can roll it out. Good to have a container, a stra paint strainer, your paint, and your cup gun, mask, and gloves. And this is breakthrough, just thinned out very slightly because it's all thick to put through a cup gun. We have our compressor there. Strain this into here. You'll know if it's thin enough to spray, if it'll come through the strainer. If it's not coming through the strainer or goes slower than that, it's just going to be too thick. We don't want to waste any paint if we don't have to. I so. just put that in there. A little roller in our pocket. And the second coat I'm going to do up and down. Human nature is if you do it the same way both times, you're going to put it on, you might miss a spot or put on the same heavy spots repeatedly. So by going a different direction, you tend to even out any kind of mistakes you might have so you don't get any runs. This particular milk can has seen better days. You can see lots of dents and dings on it. And for that reason, it's going to be quite difficult to get the stencil flat. You can see right here, I've got an indent and I'm going to have to be very particular around these areas. Now you might think I could have just used spray adhesive, but quite honestly, with all the hills and valleys in the metal, it's not really going to help. The technique I'm going to be using for this particular stencil is to use these cosmetic wedges, these sponges. This can is so ding that I've had to eyeball the placement and it's really the best I can do. It's not going to look perfect by any means. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start in the middle. I'm just going to add some tape to put pressure on this middle section. I want to hold that as tight as I can get it so that I can do this outer part of the cue. So what I have here is a pen and then this is a tool that I use for my iPad for drawing. And they both have rubbery tips. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to cover the tips with some saran and tape it up so that I don't get paint on them. And then I'm going to use them as tools to hold down the edges. And this will slide along quite nicely as I go just to apply some pressure. Okay, now I've got my tool ready to go. So let's pour paint. I'm just going to bring over my paper towels here. Let's clear the space a little more. I'm using a paint from Breakthrough in a color that's called Carbon Coffee. It's a black color. Just going to pour out a little because I don't believe we're going to need much. We'll start with that. Okay, so I'm just going to dip the sponge into the paint. And I'm going to dab it off onto the paper towel. So that's pretty dry. And then I'm going to come in and start with the cue. Lightly dab. And right now I'm concentrating around the center portion. Right around. I'm 
I'm going to come in here and get the corners. I'm going to come down to the bottom and get the outer edge. Okay, so that's going to be good enough for now. I can come back in and do a further coat if I want to. Just going to dip back in. And get it dry. And again, I'm starting in the center. And I'm going to come right around that center portion. So once I'm satisfied that the center is done, I'm going to start on the left side. Run the tool along, hold it down, and just concentrate on the outer portion of the letter. Okay, so the U is done. Okay, so I'm going to put this down for just a moment. I'll wipe this off. It's getting blocky. I'm just going to move it so that the next three letters are exposed and visible. move my blocks into place and what I have here at the side is just some 2x4s that are wrapped in foam and they're keeping the milk can from rocking so it's good and secure just dabbing straight up and down as you go okay, now I'm going to get some more paint and just take some of this from the side it's still pretty wet dab it off the nice thing about using this tool is that, well, first of all, it's rubbery. It holds it pretty taut. Secondly, I don't have to get my fingers in there, which is pretty awkward. Okay, now I'm going to hold the point down and come in and get this corner. Okay, now I've got the A exposed. So I'm at the point where I've got almost all but two of the letters done at the top here. And I'm just gonna finish rotating. And just be careful you're not gonna smudge anything on the other side. Once again, dip into the paint. offload it onto paper towels. Okay, so our top litters are done. Now we're going to swing this back into the middle position. Now we've got all of this exposed and ready to go. Tighten up the blocks at the side. 
Then we're going to complete the bottom in the same way that we did the top. Stencil is now removed 